y'all. So today I'm going to be making a cookie for you and it's called a snickerdoodle. Um, now the reason that I'm going to make them for you, I had not originally planned this, but I had mentioned snickerdoodles in a previous video and a lot of you said, what's a snickerdoodle? Uh, can you make a snickerdoodle? Tell me what is a snickerdoodle? So uh, I decided I would just go ahead and make them so that everyone will know what a snickerdoodle is. Absolutely one of our favorite cookies. Uh, so anyway, let's just go ahead and get this snickerdoodle cookie recipe started. Okay, getting started on our snickerdoodle cookies, you're going to need a hand a mixer or a stand mixer. Uh, we're going to add one cup of um, butter, and that's two sticks and make sure that these are at a room temperature. And to that, we're going to add three fourths cups of white sugar and one half cup of light brown sugar. We're just going to uh, blend those together till everything is nice and smooth. Okay, now while our mixer is on a, a just a lower speed, we're gonna go ahead and add the next ingredients, and that is one egg and one egg yolk. So one of the eggs, you're gonna go ahead and uh, drain all of the white off of it. And to that, we are also going to add one tablespoon of vanilla. Okay, our next step, while it is mixing, we're going to be adding a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of cream of tartar, one half teaspoon of kosher salt, and one tablespoon of, I'm sorry, one teaspoon of cinnamon, just one teaspoon. Okay, now to this, we are slowly going to add in two and three fourths cups of flour while this continues to mix. Okay, awesomeness, boy, you guys, with this cinnamon. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. Just wait until you smell them uh, baking. Oh my goodness. I uh, love to cook with cinnamon, especially this time of year. Just, to, you know, makes your house smell like fall. Love it, love it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up here just a bit and uh, get our cookie sheets ready because we are ready to roll these into balls and get them onto our cookie sheets. Okay, so our oven is on 325 degrees. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our um, snickerdoodles all onto our prepared pan. Now you can either spray it lightly with a cooking spray or use parchment paper. So I'm just going to roll my um, snickerdoodle cookies into a ball and lay them right onto uh, the parchment paper. And I'm going to do a dozen cookies uh, on this cookie sheet. Okay, so my next step is going to be to roll these cookies in some cinnamon and some sugar. Now here I've got a fourth a cup of sugar and a tablespoon of cinnamon. I just mixed it up really well together and I'm just going to roll the cookie into the cinnamon and the sugar. Oh my stars. I absolutely love these. Okay, so these are going to, like I said, go into a 325 degree oven, uh, 10 to 12 minutes. Uh, now, about halfway through my cooking time, I rotate my cooking uh, sheet. So if I slide them in this way, I'm just gonna take them out and turn them around and pop them in the other way for the rest of the cooking time. Um, so anyway, 325 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, so the last batch of snickerdoodles coming out of the oven and they smell oh so yummy. Now, um, to let you know that this batch, this recipe makes um, three dozen, just about three dozen cookies. Okay, y'all, I hope that you will give these snickerdoodle cookies a try because they really are oh so yummy. 
and make your house smell so fabulous while they are baking. Uh, so anyway, y'all, I appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye now.